I think there are a couple of things. I will give you an overall picture, then I ask uh, uh, Charlie to give us a specific number. The, the biggest one is actually the Forex, as I mentioned earlier. In Australia, the Forex, uh, there's about 300 million. Uh, of course, that's the biggest one. Then there's a, uh, there's a slight increase in uh, depreciation um, to reflect the capex that we have spent over the last few years, so it will be a slight increase. Um, also, they, there are also the amortization that we did as a result of the acquisition of Ansel. Uh, what we did, uh, we, we took the opportunity to amortize significantly certain amount, which again uh, we will explain in, more, uh, in the specific number. Um, and uh, some finance costs because of the acquisition of Ansel. So these are th four big ones. One, uh, if I can repeat, one is the biggest uh, forex loss. As you can see, uh, ringgit depreciated significantly against uh, US dollar, but 2.5 percent is big, right? Because of our uh, US dollar loans that we have accumulated because of it, all because of Ansel, right? So we have a big US dollar loan for to seek pay Ansel, and that US dollar loan resulted in when there's a um, when the dep ringgit depreciated against US dollar, you have to account for that, and it hits your book, right? Again, I want to stress, I, I'm, I know I will be repetitive, it's not real cash, it's just accounting entry, right? The second one is the increase in depreciation, uh, finance costs also because of NCEL, and the fourth one is the amortization also because of NCEL. So as you can see, a lot related to NCEL directly or indirectly.